Kyushu92 here, bringing you yet another My Hero Academia chapter reaction and review. In the last chapter, in 252, uh, Ending was basically apprehended after Shoto, Midoriya, and Bakugo essentially used their abilities to literally outpace Endeavor and save everybody present, including Natsuo, who was taken hostage by Ending, with Ending kind of going mad, wanting Endeavor to kill him? For reasons I aren't fully explained, but just saying that he came out of prison and he really wants Endeavor to kill him for some reason. I don't know. It's some sort of sick reason. You know how these villains in these chapters are. But it kind of ends with Endeavor trying to talk to Natsu, Natsuo. But Natsuo is still not being receptive to Endeavor, even though Endeavor is trying. Because, you know, Endeavor is on this whole big redemption art right now. And a lot of people are saying that, are really hoping that, oh, I really hope that Endeavor doesn't die after all this is said and done. For him to just be redeemed and then become like a true hero and then he just dies afterwards. I'm hoping that's not the case as well. Because Endeavor's starting to do good. He's not making giant strides, but he's taking baby steps. So, at least I'd, I'd want to say it's a step in the right direction. And it ends with Endeavor saying that in order for the family to grow closer to with each other, he's going to buy a plot of land that makes it so that Fuyumi, his daughter, and Natsuo are, their workplaces are going to be, you know, in relative proximity to the house he's going to build so that the whole family can be close to one another a lot easier than them just traveling all the distance they normally do in order to go to the current household they live in. And he's going to build it, and he's going to have the family there, but he himself is not going to be at the place. He said he's going to stay at the old house by himself for who knows how long. So it kind of ends there, and now we get to see if we get a continuation. But it looks like we're going back to UA with Chapter 253, Shirakumo. Our winter break, few, our, yeah. Our winter break flew by in a flash and our classes resumed again. Before we had even realized it, there were only three months left. Hey, we got Ida! With the end of everyone's internships, until the end of our tumultuous freshman year, I am so surprised I was able to even get that out, but even then, big words be getting me sometimes. Happy New Year, my fellow classmates! For today's class, you'll be giving practical reports on your internships. Be prepared to share what you've gained through your experiences. Now then, let's suit up and head to Ground Alpha! And Aizawa pops in with his trademark sleeping, sleeping bag saying, Stop talking and get moving. And we got Ashido and we got Asui. Sensei, Happy New Year! I'm done briefing the class on today's agenda, just like you asked. Ida's all fired up, huh? Manuel-san, the hero I interned with, led a team at Hosu. It was a short week, but I've learned... The art of being flexible! Uh-huh. All fired up. He's like a bike with a loose chain. I... <sighs> Aizawa-sensei, please report to the faculty office. And in the changing room, we got Uraka right here. Ochaku, did you... Ochako, did you change your costume? It looks so good on you. Really? Thank goodness. And we have Jiro. It kind of, her t costume does look different. Like she doesn't have that big helmet piece that was in front of her face before. But then I, then again, didn't she get rid of that like a while back? Or am I just stuck on that old design? But Jiro's holding her gauntlet, and she says, "This thing is so heavy. Your wrist guard. There's a wire inside, so I can nullify its weight with my quirk. But the case is really heavy. So she has some massively heavy." Uh, massively heavy gauntlets that she can offset the weight of using her quirk. I wonder if that's to enhance her combat abilities so that when she hits people, it hits with extra weight. But with her quirk's abilities, she can make it light for her, but also make it heavy when she hits people. Because you know she's like a gravity-wielding martial artist at this point. And what's over here? And Ashido picks up, uh, looks like her belt, it looks like. And something slips out of the pocket, and Ochako Uraka is screaming, and it falls to the ground, and there's all silent. So we got Jiro, we got Asui, we have Momo, 
Ashido and Uraraka in the same place. And Hagude is in there as well, but you know, she's invisible, so it's kind of hard to see her. And the thing that falls out is an All Might ornament. Is it this? And that looks like something from a previous chat. Wait! Oh, Midoriya gave her that! As like a present, right? And then Ashido's all like, hmm. Ah, I get it! No, you don't, Ashido! For real, it's not like that. I'll just put this away. Now, she says it's not like that. Yet the shading and the look it gives on her face in this one particular panel says otherwise. Also, is her hair getting longer? I think her hair her hair looks a lot longer now. And in this panel, they gave Ashido some really big hips. I don't know if it's to facilitate her shaking her hips back and forth, but they gave her some really big hips in this panel. Y'all need to chill. Ain't she like 15, 16? And then we cut to Midoriya, and Kirishima! You managed to control that black thing. No way, that was fast. Yeah, I can only handle it for a moment, and it doesn't have many uses, but it's strong. And... That's Bakugo's headpiece that he... That's... Did he just throw that at, at Midoriya's head? Those are sharp pieces! Why are you throwing sharp things at people? And it... And it causes Midoriya to fall over because there's like a splurt of blood that pops up from where Midoriya was sitting. Disgusting. Bakugo, what are you doing? This is bad. His gray matter is oozing out. Midoriya! And Midoriya's still walking around with the headpiece lodged up in his brain. In essence, I need to let my body adapt to using it. Right now, it throws off my sense of speed so my brain can't keep up. Yeah, I bet your brain can't keep up because you got a head metal headpiece lodged up in your cranium right now. I am making cotton candy. All oh, might. TN, I am here is 1.5 syllables away from it's a cotton candy. Huh? Where's Aizawa sensei? Hey guys, how are you going to ignore my almighty gag like that? I was pretending to say I am here. Due to emergency reasons, Aizawa Sensei had to leave just a few moments ago. And it cuts to a car. And present Mike is in there. Can't you go any faster? Shut up and calm down, man. And I've never known present Mike to be so blunt and direct when he's speaking to Aizawa. So this has got to be something serious if they're both sweating bullets and... Present Mike isn't, you know, joking around like he normally does. That thing we fought at USJ, that kind of behavior, not in the least. There's a limit to how bad your taste can be. As for me, I want to believe that it's all just Tsukouchi san's big understand big misunderstanding. And they're going to Tartarus! Where are they going? They're talking about Nomus? Are they going to see the Nomu that's in prison there or what? What's going on? Are they going to see all for one? What's going on here? As you two are well aware, the Nomu are created by modifying human bodies to withstand the simultaneous possession of multiple quirks. However, these are not living human bodies. From their brains to their hearts, their bodies are a complete mess. And Gran Torino's there. In other words, the Nomu are puppets, marionettes without a soul. Or so we thought, Gran Torino. I had to leave class to come here. Please get to the point. Aizawa. And... Present Mike grabs his... Present Mike grabs his shoulder, but he's grabbing it real hard, like this is a hard moment for him too. Things have an order to them. This is all necessary so that you can prepare your heart as well. This guy is the center of the League of Villains. Ooh, all? Oh, are we talking about all for one? If we could somehow get him to talk, we could get straight to the heart of the issue. Unfortunately, he hasn't given us a single piece of useful information. He'll talk about tons of useless stuff, but not a word about anything we could use against the League. When it comes to the League, he'll suddenly become unresponsive, like his power's been cut or something. In other words, 
It's quite complex, so it took us a while to notice. But in his case, multiple factors have been combined to form a single new quirk. Huh? Multiple factors have been conv combined to form a single new quirk. And at the root of all those factors is... The man who once worked with you two at UA through thick and thin and made to lose his life at such an early age. Okay, this is Kurugiri. And it cuts to a panel and it just says Shota. It bears an incredible resemblance to the man who once to the man once known as Shirakumo Oboro. It bears an incredible resemblance to the man once known as Shirakumo Oboro. An all too sudden revelation. Next issue, a full color cover page. Okay, chapter 253N. Alright, so let's go through this. So, the students return to UA and they're preparing to do practical uh, presentations of their internships that they've learned thus far. I thought we were going to have a continuation of Endeavor and Midoriya, Shoto, and Bakugo, but it looks like we're cutting back to UA now. And we see the students again, and we're, we, we're going to see their uh, le the things that they learn from uh, the internships that they've been to. But Aizawa Sensei leaves and leaves the proceedings to Ida, and All Might is there. Though the students are still wondering where Aizawa went, and he and Present Might go to Tartarus... Literally forgot to put my phone on silent. Hold on. Can't believe I forgot to actually do that. My bad. So, they go to Tar Present Mike and Aizawa go to Tartarus. And I'm thinking that they're going to see All for One or the Nomu. But it turns out they're going to see Kurogiri, it seems, for some reason. And... Apparently, the factors that, oh, ooh, I was thinking that all of this points to Kurogiri being uh, Shirakumo Oboro, but I'm wondering now if his quirk was used in combination with other quirks to make the power that Kurogiri has. But it says that the multiple factors that make up his single new quirk, which allows him to, you know, bend time and space and teleport things uh, uh, anywhere... The man, uh, the one of the factors that link to his quirk is the man who once worked with you two at UA through thick and thin and made to lose his life at such an early age. It bears an incredible resemblance to the man once known as Shirakumo Oboro. Now, either one of two things. Either this man that Aizawa and President Mike know as Shirakumo Oboro, either Kurogiri is him. Or Shirakumo, o Shirakumo Oboro, or Oboro's quirk was used to help make Kurogiri's quirk. So either one of those two things, either Oboro's quirk was made in combination with others to create Kurogiri's quirk, or Oboro is Kurogiri. Two things right there. Now, this is kind of surprising because we don't see... Aizawa never really talks about his past, nor does Present Mike talk about it. Like, we've seen images of him and Present Mike when they were younger, but we've never seen, like, their backstory or anything that goes to their years as heroes back then before we are introduced to them during the story of My Hero. So, this Shirakumo Oboro, what ties does he have to Aizawa? Is Kurogiri Oboro, and just what happened... To those three that makes present Mike and Aizawa so tense on this subject matter. Something to think about. And actually, this episode has gone a lot longer than I thought because now this has actually got me a little bit concerned. It doesn't say we're going on break next week, so you guys let me know what you thought of this chapter as a whole. Do you think that this man named Oboro, his quirk was used to help create Kurogiri's quirk, or is Oboro Kurogiri? You guys let me know. Let me know what you thought of the chapter as a whole. With that being said, hope you all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in the next videos. Have a fantastic day. And once again, as always, later, peoples.